friends, new and old, welcome back. And we have a brand new Monster High today, and it's Abby Bombable. I am super excited to finally have her in my collection. I have really wanted her since I saw her. And she's been like crazy prices online, and then finally she's supposed to be found in Target, and Target didn't have her, and didn't have her, and yada yada. And I was finally able to find her in store and make sure that everything looked good super excited so i was able to find her and abby is an extra chill yeti her monster must-haves are snowflake backpack and ice scream treat and her monster pet is tundra i love this artwork from darko this is so much better than the artwork we had before <laughs> i really like uh, his artwork a lot. It makes the Monster High packaging so much better. And on the side, you can see her little Yeti heart, the snowflake, the ice cream, some icicles, her shoes and glasses, her backpack, phone, little hand, and Bobo with the eyeballs in it. Oh, I think she's throwing a snowball. Uh, and then there is the front artwork. Here is the UPC if you are looking for her in your store. And let's get Abby out of the box so we can take a closer look. Yay! All right, we've got Abby out of the box and she's hanging out in the student lounge. And she's ginormous. She doesn't even fit on the doll stand. You can see that that's like right at the very, 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 very top. So she's really, really big. I pull her hair back into a ponytail so we'd be able to see her horns and her body and her clothes a little bit more. All right, and so happy comes with two pieces of hair that are in these purple rubber bands so they are separate and she has purple eyebrows and pink and blue eyeshadow her eyes are purple with a little bit of like a light pink or maybe a peach in there and she's got little stars in her eyes She's got little white freckles that go over to a snowflake over on this side of the cheek. Her nose is purple and she has dark purple lips with things that are going up. Uh, we can see that her chin, like her mouth isn't as dominant in that underbite, I think it is, uh, that Abby had. But we used to get that a little bit in her bottom lip here and the way that the things are going up. So I do appreciate that. And she has really cool ears. Look at her ears. I don't even know. Like, is this supposed to be fur on her ears? Or they're just really neat looking. Um, Maybe they're, I'm not really sure. They kind of look like, I don't know, gremlin ears or something. <laughs> they're really cool. And her earrings are little icicles or maybe ice daggers. They look kind of like a dagger. This one over here is attached to a chain that comes up to this piece here. And if we take a look at that, it's a snowflake. Look kind of like a snowflake spider web and it's a chain that comes down to the icicles for her earrings and she does have horns and she's got two of them there's one right here and there's one right here i wish the horns were bigger they don't stick out of her hair enough for me to see them unless I really do something to the hair to pull it back so 
to me, I just feel like she needs a little bit bigger uh, horns. And her hair is this like, light, light blue, light pink, and it does have tinsel in it. And it's pretty soft and voluminous. She's got quite a lot of hair, and I really like that about her. She's kind of got this, I don't know, cotton candy type of look to her hair. And I just had it pulled up in the ponytail. She came completely off her stand. Ah! Uh, and she does come with this white top with a little snowflake on it. And it's got stitching in purple. And these mesh sleeves are attached to it. And they come out to fur cuffs. And look at her hands with those claws on them. I wish her nails were painted. But she's got amazing, amazing claws. Uh, if we push her sleeve up a little bit, we can see she's even got some fur on her wrists too, just like Claudine does. And she's got the articulation in the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. She's got the chest articulation that we're used to with G3 Monster High. And she's got articulation in her head. And she's got this belt that's like a clear blue plastic. It kind of looks like a fanny pack made of ice. I'm not really sure if it's a fanny pack or that's just a giant icicle belt buckle. Um, but it does go all the way around and I love that it has little icicles all the way around it. It attaches like um, with a chain. So you can see here's a chain type of attachment. And it's got the icicles here and then a little purple chain with again that snowflake that's kind of spider webby. And her pants are a very slick, uh, stretchy material. And they're light lavender with a whole bunch of silver iridescent snowflakes all over them. And they've got this like slit up the pant leg on each one. Really cool. And if we move the pant leg, we can see that her ankles do have fur on them as well. And she does have articulation in her knee and in her hip. So we can have her sit. And her shoes are like fur. And I'm not sure if that's fur or purple icicles. And we can see that there's little snowflakes right there. And the bottom of them are clear with glitter and they look like ice on the bottom. It's got a design to it, like the bottom of a shoe, I guess. It doesn't really look like anything. And they look like they've got like stretchy elastic in the back that keep them on her feet. They do come off and when they take off her shoe, come in. Um, she doesn't have as big of clawed toes as say Claudine does, but you can see her toenails are a little a little more on the pointy side, but she doesn't have as much of a clawed foot. Ugh. Getting her shoes back on. And she did come with her eye coffin. It's a little pink ice cream cone with like a spider web design for the cone. 
And it's got two little horns on it. And on the other side, we can see her apps and her phone screen. Very cool. She did come with a pair of glasses that look like drippy icicles. And they're very shimmery. So the side looks like dripping ice. And try them on. And there she is with her glasses on. Very cool. Kind of like them down her nose a little bit, so she's kind of like peeping, peeping out those glasses of people. Uh, she did come with a piece of candy, and this is snow corps instead of snow caps. And it's only on the one side, unfortunately. She came with an ice cream bar that looks like a gravestone. And it says R.I.P. So rest in peace, a really important person. <laughs> Death by chocolate. And it's got her horns and the snowflake again. On this side, it just has the snowflake and horn. She came with a drink, and it's like a Yeti boba. And instead of boba balls, it's eyeballs. And I love the fangs right here, the horns. The top does come off. Nothing in there, but does come off so she's got a cool drink that she can have and here is her snowflake backpack sparkly pink um looks like a snowflake honestly this reminds me of the snowflake bag from the barbie extra fly every time i see this or see that doll i always think of like them together it does open so you can put cool things in her bag and she came with this like uh, scarf shawl stole I'm not really sure what it's called feather boa <laughs> fur boa uh, so she's got this little This little bit of fur that she can wear. Very cool. And last but not least, she does come with a pet. And this is Tundra. A little woolly mammoth with like weird bat ears. And I love that the hair is like pearlescent. All the white is pearlescent. It doesn't move. Um, the head, so that's sad. And look at the eyes. Very cool. <laughs> it's a pretty cool pet for her. I love Abby. I think she's probably my favorite out of all of the Monster High characters that they've done. I think Abby has got to be my favorite. I really want to see more Abby. Uh, this is just an amazing redesign for her, and I really, really love her. I think she's so cool. So cool. I love how big she is. I love the body proportions they gave her, like the bigger hips and legs, and her shoes are really cool. Her clawed hands. She's just amazing. Great job love 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 this character and 
this new G3 design for her. She's really, really, really cool. All right, we have unboxed Abby Bomitable from Monster High G3. I am so excited to add her to my collection. She is definitely my favorite G3 doll so far. Absolutely love her, 100%. Have to have, have to have her. She's so great. I can't wait to see what other characters are gonna bring out and how those are gonna be reimagined and redesigned because they did such a great job with Abby. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed hanging out today, give this video a thumbs up. If you love Abby Bomitable, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment down below. Give me your thoughts on G3 Abby Bomitable. Do you miss her G1 counterpart or do you really enjoy this new interpretation of Abby? And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time we post our really cool Monster High video. And if we aren't friends yet, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and stick around. Until next time, bye!